Smiley, the friendly podcast guide. Every week, I put out an episode about a specific podcast to help you figure out if it's your next favorite podcast. Those come out on Tuesdays. I also put out another episode each Thursday that's a little more personal, either a list of podcasts I like for the season we're in, how I'm using podcasts in my own life, or something like that. This is one of those episodes, and this week it's all about Women's History Month. I'm getting this episode in under the wire with only a couple days left in March, but I wanted to make sure to do an episode celebrating women in history. The first podcast I want to talk about is Women Did That. This podcast is dedicated to showcasing all manner of talented women throughout history. The episodes are very thorough. As an example, the episodes about Anne Boleyn had to be split into five parts because they had so much information to cover about her as well as all of the context to make sure you would understand her story. The hosts do use words you may not want your children hearing, so I would keep that in mind while you're listening. Each episode is around 45 minutes long. If you're interested in trying this podcast out, I would recommend the series on Anne Boleyn. It's fascinating and quite entertaining. It will also help you get a feel for the rapport between the two hosts and how the information about the women in history is presented. If an entire podcast is too overwhelming for you, then I would recommend listening to the Here's Where It Gets Interesting podcast series called How Women Won World War II. Here's Where It Gets Interesting is a podcast hosted by Sharon McMahon, who is known as Sharon Says So on Instagram. On the show, there's a mix of interviews with interesting people and short series like this one about women during World War II. In the How Women Won World War II series, she dives into all the ways women helped in the war effort during World War II. Each episode is around 30 minutes long. I recommend starting with the first episode in the series called Rosie the Riveter Was Just the Beginning. You can start with whatever episode you want, but to get the most out of the series, starting at the beginning is your best bet. Before I tell you about more podcasts about women in history, we're going to take a quick break to talk about starting your own podcast. If you're thinking about starting your own podcast, Libsyn will help you make it happen. Libsyn is a podcast host and distribution platform to make it easy for you to get your podcast to all the different listening apps. I use Libsyn to get the friendly podcast guide from my microphone to your ears. They make it super easy to take your great idea for a podcast and make it a reality. They have several different price plans starting at just $5 a month. And if you use my affiliate code FPG at checkout, you get your first month free. Start your podcasting journey by clicking on the link in the show notes. Now, back to the Women's History Podcasts. The podcast Stuff You Missed in History class talks about the people and events that aren't usually covered in depth in school, which means a lot of subjects they cover have to do with the amazing things women have done in history. This podcast has been going for more than 10 years, so there are plenty of episodes to choose from. Each episode is about 45 minutes to an hour long. There is no shortage of episodes that tell stories of amazing women, but a really great one to start with is the episode about Ellen Swallow Richards, who was a big part of the establishment of home economics as a field. This episode will help you understand the vibe of the show and help you learn about a fantastic woman. Okay, the episode I'm talking about next is another option for you if an entire podcast is a bit daunting for you. Also, this is the only podcast on this list with male hosts. This episode is about 12 minutes long, and it's all about two women pirates who, according to scant records and tons of lore, were more fierce than their male counterparts. The episode is called Short Stuff, Women Pirates. It's an interesting episode that helps you remember just how awesome women are. If you want to learn about more women from Josh and Chuck, the hosts of Stuff You Should Know, you can listen to their episode about Dorothy Parker, a poet, screenwriter, and activist. The History Chicks podcast is another great show that deep dives into the lives of women in history. This podcast is, in their words, interesting for adults, but appropriate if kids are in the room and listening. 
Each episode starts with a 30-second summary, so you have an idea of what kind of story you're getting into. Then, a thorough exploration of the woman's life. The hidden gem of this podcast is the great show notes on the website, with pictures of the women featured in the episodes and all of the books, articles, and other information they use to put the episode together. The episode I recommend starting with is episode 223, Mary McLeod Bethune. Part one, it talks about this amazing black woman who touched almost every aspect of women's and civil rights in the first half of the 1900s. You'll not only learn about a remarkable woman, but you'll also get a feel for the relationship between the hosts and the flow of the show. Hopefully, this was a fun way for you to wrap up Women's History Month and a reminder that we can learn about women in history all year long. Also, if you have an itch to start your own podcast, I recommend using Libsyn and use my affiliate code FPG to get your first month free. Talk to you soon.